Recently, I completed a set of tests and reviews of five specific bullpups on the market. Some new and just released. Some that had been out for a while. Some budget end and some higher priced. Single shot and multi shot. And even semi bullpup. Here are my final thoughts on which was the best of the bunch. Hello and welcome to AAR On Air. Yeah, here are my final thoughts as to which of the five were the best bullpups. The five tested were the Brocock Bantam Sniper HR, the Virarch HW100K, the latest Walther Rain, the Gamo Boxer and finally the Artemis P12 from SMK. I realise there are many more bullpups out there, including such as my Daystate Pulsar, which is actually a very much older gun and also very heavy and expensive. And I was trying to make this a realistic priced guns instead of the real high end expensive ones. Each of the guns selected have been subject to a full review and can be seen individually on the channel, either on YouTube or on airgun101.com. The links are below. First up then, the Brocock Bantam Sniper HR. Now there are various versions of this and I have the laminated stock version here. Right from the start, it must be said, this is long for a bullpup at 89 centimeters. It is the most expensive here at 1,049 pounds UK. It does have a three stage power adjuster and is fitted with Huma regulator which should give it terrific consistency and the edge over the rest. Looking at the power figures, first of all, it showed just under four foot pounds on the low setting, nearly nine foot pounds on the middle setting, but only achieved 10.8 foot pounds on maximum. So a little low for a UK sub 12 foot pound gun. The spread of shots was also a little off with four feet per second spread on low, going up to six feet per second on mid, right up to 12 feet per second on a maximum setting. That length then, well, it is the longest of the bunch and it has a real bark to it and would really need a silencer to bring it down to the noise levels of the others, which is gonna push that length right out beyond normal bullpups and into rifle territory. And for that alone, I have discounted it from this competition. A great gun, beautifully made and presented, but not what I would call a bullpup. Next up is the similarly priced Virarch HW100K. This is tiny, completely opposite to the Bantam. It's 73 and a half centimeters long. It is the second shortest here. And that includes supplied and fitted silencer which works. I took this off during the testing to see just how short this is and the noise from it is really loud, proving that the silencer really does do its job. The construction is true Virarch quality and feel. The mechanicals work consistently and flawlessly. It is superbly accurate and showed an excellent result on the chrono with 11.8 foot pounds on the power and a spread of eight feet per second. A surprisingly good shot count considering the size of the diminutive air cylinder and a super trigger. There is the larger sibling, the HW100BP, which basically adds another 10 centimeters or four inches to everything. This is on the higher end of the price range at £1140 UK, but it oozes quality. So without further ado, we will move on to the brand new Walther Rain. This is priced at £799 UK and is probably the most radical looking here. It is curvaceous, if not bulbous, all black, 
futuristic looking hard plastic construction, which means it is going to be easily cleaned and less prone to possible dents like wood. Not only futuristic in looks, but in design ideas as well. It can be changed from right-handed back to left-handed by moving the cocking mechanism, etc., from one side to the other. The simple and effective 10 round magazine can also be swapped over without any need for any changes to the internals at all. It is smooth in action and powerful. This was bang up to the legal limit and was producing consistent shot counts as well. The air cylinder is hidden away under that bulbous black body and is good for somewhere between 150 and 180 full power shots apparently. Up next is the Gamo BSA Gamo Boxer. Now they say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Well, I personally think this is the prettiest of the bullpups here, with its contrasting black and dark wood finish topped off with the gold ring around the filiport area. But it's not about looks really, it's about the whole package. This one comes in at £569 UK, but for that you also get a very high quality hard case thrown in. It is probably the shortest out of the bunch at 71 centimetres long, but has a really long barrel, because essentially this is a rifle that's been fitted with a bullpup stock. The plus side is you get that longer barrel to make sure it's a pretty accurate gun, but the military style bolt action is set all the way back and means you're going to need to come off target to cock this thing, which could be a deal breaker for some. I suppose it confirms everything is a compromise unless you have a limitless budget. It is accurate, but a little low on power in testing, achieving just over 11 foot pounds with a spread of 12 feet per second. But this didn't in any way affect its accuracy. It is surprisingly light at 3.2 kilograms unscoped and carries that weight close to the body, as you would expect. Overall, for the money, it's surprisingly good. Finally, in this particular group, is the lowest price one here. At £399 UK, which is a really low price for a bullpup PCP, and so I wasn't really expecting too much when it was thrown into this company. But looking at the figures, it held its own, and in some cases did better job than the higher priced bullpups. It produced 11.6 foot pounds on the power, which is just about spot on for the UK laws and a really tight six feet per second spread of shots. Yes, like the Gamo Boxer, it is basically a rifle dropped into a bullpup chassis. The stock though is certainly well finished, not over fancy, there's no stippling, etc., but neat. It is comfortable and there's no rough edges or faults at all, which can often be the case with some budget guns. This is only single shot version, but they do a 10 shot P10 sibling, which does put the price up a further £100 UK. Yes, you need to come off target to cock this because the bolt is all the way back. But being a single shot, you're going to need to load it. So you're always going to come off target anyway. This is accurate, and I must say, I had probably the most fun with this one, more so than any of the others out of the group. Yes, it has its shortcomings, being a budget gun, but this is a third of the price of the most expensive ones on test. So, which is the best of this bunch? If price was no object, it would have to be the Virock for that superb finish action, engineering, and of course accuracy. But what if price was an issue? 
then I would have no problems in putting the Artemis on the top spot of the best budget single shot category. And I suppose it's not so much bang for your book, but smiles for your book, because I thoroughly enjoyed it. Single shot could put people off. So the Gamo is the winner of the multi-shot budget category and would win the best looking category as far as I'm concerned as well. And don't forget that hard case. If you want radical though, you won't be disappointed with the Walther Rain. Futuristic, innovative, modern looking and still in the lower end of the price bracket. Some would say you haven't given an overall winner. The problem here is different people have different needs, requirements, tastes and above all, budgets. I would say get the Viroc personally, but I realise this is way out of some people's budgets. But I would also say don't discount the Artemis P12 from SMK. It is surprisingly good for the money and great fun. I can say I don't think you will be disappointed with any of these guns to be fair. They are all very capable. Thanks for watching. News just in about a Swedish company who have been found deliberately trying to sabotage and upset weeks of work completed by a known airgun reviewer. FX have deliberately introduced a new Dreamline bullpup with high capacity magazine, adjustable match trigger, floating FX smooth twist X match barrel, highly accurate AMP regulated and power adjustable, which is lightweight, high in quality and addictively usable, all for £1,150 UK. This may well have changed the outcome of his review. For more details as they come in, check out the links. That's the end of the newsflash.